right before Bellator 238 at her gym. She's getting ready to fight Julia Budd. Cyborg, how's your training going for the fight with Julia? You know, I trained really hard and excited for the next chapter in my life and where did you go? Great, so great. If you beat Julia Budd in this next fight, do you plan on defending your Bellator title or do you plan on doing something else? No, my first thing is to beat Julia Budd and yeah. Chris Cyborg versus Julia Budd. Chris Cyborg is the ex Strike Force, Evicta FC and UFC featherweight champions of the world. Julia Budd is the current Bellator featherweight champion of the world. Chris Cyborg is looking to make history. At Bellator 238, she's looking to go into the Bellator cage and take the title from Julia Budd. If she can do so, she will become the first person in mixed martial arts history to hold four major MMA world titles. Chris Cyborg is trying to make tremendous history in this fight. She's getting a title shot right away versus Julia. Julia Budd is on an incredible 11 fight winning streak. She has two knockouts in a row in her last fight. She smashed Olga Rubin. And Olga was in serious pain. Chris Cyborg wants to go out there and use her incredible marauder style. She takes no prisoners inside the cage. Chris Cyborg's highlight reel is the highlight reel. Every woman falls down in tremendous pain. And that's usually a Cyborg fight. Cyborg wants to go into Bellator and make a tremendous impact. She wants to smash Julia Budd. Julia Budd is going to be the older woman in this fight. She's going to be two years older. She's going to have a reach advantage of two inches. She has a 70 inch reach. Chris Cyborg has a 68 inch reach. Cyborg has incredible Muay Thai, kickboxing, boxing. Cyborg is scary, standing up, and that's why she dominated mixed martial arts in the most incredible fashion, sending her opponents to the canvas, dropping them. Julie Budd needs to be careful in this fight, and at the same time, Chris Cyborg needs to be careful in this fight. These are two fighters who are elite level, elite level featherweights, who both dominated the featherweight division since 2005, Chris Cyborg has been dominating, and Cyborg has incredible knockout power. That's why she has 17 knockouts out of her 21 wins. Julia Budd has been dominating the featherweight division back since 2010, and she's undefeated since 2011. If Chris Cyborg could go out there and slay Julia Budd, Cyborg will prove to the fans and to the mixed martial arts community that she's still there and she still has it and that she's the GOAT. And, and if Julia Budd can get past Chris Cyborg, she will shock the mixed martial arts community. Julia Budd's stock will rise. This is going to be an incredible fight. We're going to get to see a battle between a woman who understands how to deliver tremendous power and how to hurt her opponent standing up, how to utilize Muay Thai, kickboxing, and boxing in the, the fashion that she decides and deliver traumatic impact versus Julia Budd, a woman who's in tremendous shape, a woman who can fight deep into fights, who can dominate. Julia Budd can utilize her style. And if she could utilize her style, she'll make it a tricky fight for anybody. And that's why she's undefeated since 2011. Julia Budd wants to go out there and show Chris Cyborg her strength. She wants to go out there and dominate her from the beginning. So that's an incredibly hard task. Cyborg wants to go out there and hit Julia Budd early. Show her that pain. Show her that she's in a fight with Chris Cyborg. If she can do that, she'll make it a short night right. for Julia right. Budd. Julia. This is going to yeah. be a sick fight. Uh, you in know, you ready? You know, I'm ready. So you can make so it fit. Let's make it great. Which woman fight. is going to walk out of this cage alive? That's that's why we want to see this fight. Chris Cyborg versus Julia Budd. After I have to sit down and sit Scott to what I'm going to be the next, but for sure I'd like to defend my belt. You're going to defend in Bellator? Yes. I, I spoke to you a few minutes ago and you said that your dream would be if Scott Coker did something, like did a Grand Prix in Ryzen Fighting Federation, 
Yes, I think I think because I came from shoot box and they have a lot of guys fight in Japan. Right. And they have Grand Prix like Vandalay, Shogun. And then because you know the country I have is Bellator is a different one, you know, I can be able to do that. And maybe it's gonna be one dream maybe can come true. Maybe you Scott want to work together, maybe have the opportunity. Why not? I would like it. What's different about your Bellator contract? I mean able to do I'm getting paid good. You're getting paid good? Yes, great. Very blessed. And I have the opportunity to fight boxing. Um, I can do pro wrestling if I want to do. And then behind me, I want to work together. This is nice. So the, the main difference is that Scott wants to work with you together and you could do boxing or you could do pro wrestling. Yes. As far as boxing, what, what would interest you in boxing? Uh, you know, I like challenging my, my career and then I like challenging myself. I have like I compete in wrestling, I compete Jiu Jitsu, I compete already Muay Thai professional. And if I have the opportunity to do a boxing fight, you know, it's all one thing in my career. It's gonna be nice. So you want to do a boxing fight? Maybe. And who, who, who would you who would you want to face off with in boxing? Who really interests you? Uh, as far as boxers. The beginning I would like to see the Brooks. She said would like to fight me, but then after it not happen. And man, who's who's gonna be able to fight me? Doing a nice job, me and my manager gonna be look this. Okay, so next we're looking forward to Julia Budd and Inglewood, and that's.